Hey there, welcome to the channel. This channel is all about professional coding practices. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run a self-managed MongoDB on EC2. So when would you do that? Well, maintaining a database is a lot of work. There are security updates and there are other updates and it's just a lot of effort. So it's better to use a SaaS provider to help you with that. But sometimes for a startup project and where you're, where you're concerned about the cost, you might want to do this. Other better alternatives are, for example, AWS Document DB, that's awesome, or MongoDB Atlas, which is quite fine. In this solution, I'm gonna use one EC2 instance with Mongo, another with Mongo Express. Mongo Express is gonna communicate with the Mongo machine, and that's it. We're gonna use the power of cloud formation to get this done. Let's get started. I've already set up a repository with all the scripts that you need to get this done. So let's take a look. We're using CloudFormation, that's a really awesome tool. CloudFormation can create all the resources that you need in AWS in a single stack. So we call that a stack. So here we have one script to create the stack that we need. We can test it out and do whatever we like with it. And then we, when we don't need it anymore, we can delete it in the one stack. So that's really convenient. So the resources we're going to create in this case is Mongo, Mongo Express, security groups, mounted volume for the Mongo, if you want to have the data separate and take snapshots of it, for, for example, Elastic IP for the web layer because we want a static IP address. Otherwise, like when you start and stop uh, EC2 instances, it will get new IP addresses. So this script assumes that we are using US East 1. So let's take a look at the interesting pieces here. We have parameters for the availability zone, the Amazon Linux 2 IP we're using. So this goes hand in hand to the region we're using. Some passwords and then a reusable snippet for installing Docker. So we're using Docker. It's, uh, I like Docker, it's really convenient. It's much simpler to install Docker than trying to like install some other binaries. Um, in this case, we're using T2 Micro. And here, when, when this machine starts, these are the scripts that are gonna happen then. We're gonna mount the volume, we're gonna install Docker. We're gonna run Docker and mount, use this mounted volume. And this is the interesting piece here that makes uh, this available externally. So really important here, otherwise this doesn't work. So uh, we can SSH into this instance and it's using like, it's, it's exposing this port here so we can communicate, connect to it from the outside. And then we have this web instance here. It's uh, running um, Amazon Linux 2 here and it's installing Docker and it's running here Mongo Express and here are something some interesting pieces here it's the user password and Mongo DNS name so we can we see we're using all these parameters here all right and like these security groups are quite standard here And then we have the volume and the mount point and the elastic IP. So let's now run the create stack script and see what happens. It here returns the stack ID, meaning that it started. So let me open up AWS and add cloud formation. You can see it here, the create is in progress, you can take a look, here are some events, so uh, already something started, so let's just wait, it's gonna take some, some time to install Docker and all these things, so let's wait until that's done and then take a look. Alright, our stack is now ready, let's check out the easy 2 instances. Alright, two instances running. Let's check out the Mongo instance. And let me just do this faster. Go straight into the web instance. We're gonna check it out also. So Docker PS success. Woo! So let's check if it's Docker are good. Alright, this seems quite normal. So let's do the same here in the web. Machine. Mongo Express is running. Alright, 
check out the locks. All right, it started. Everything looks good. This is quite normal. You wouldn't normally expose Docker Express like this, but uh, this demonstration was more about how we expose Mongo rather than like uh, how we expose the, the web layer. All right, so <clears throat> let's see. We have the Elastic IP here. That's here. Let's check it out. All right, this is looking good. We created a new database. One other thing to note here, we can check out our volumes. Here we have the volume that we attached. And here. Okay. So here we can see it's not it. This looks great. So it seems like this was very successful. So now we can go ahead and delete our stack. Clean everything up, make sure it's deleted. So what are the possible next steps? We could use a dedicated VPC for this stack or we could run the Mongo DB on a private subnet. So yeah. Yeah, well, this was it. Uh, just a simple one. Please like and subscribe. Check out the Git repository connected. Try this out, play around with it. Try to extend it. Write me a comment if you would like me to explore something else. Thank you so, so much. See you next time.